All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, <clears throat> tonight, I will be showing you how I prep garlic. So, uh, some of you guys don't know this about me, but I have been eating this stuff for like the last eight years, eight to ten years in this way and manner. And uh, it is very healthy for you, despite what most health enthusiasts will tell you, um, despite some of the other research that's out there about garlic. Garlic has been used for centuries to be nature's antibiotic to help balance out your gut flora. Uh, even aging cultures of Rome and Greece use this to build stamina, build their immunity uh, for men and women alike. They've also used it to keep themselves uh, fertile sexually between men and female to produce offspring and strong families. So there are a lot of properties in garlic that are very healthy and for the most part that's those are some of the main things. I'm just gonna go ahead and tear the rest of this apart like so. Uh, there's a lot more that goes into this herb that it's been used for for, uh, for many other remedies as well. So anyway tonight I'm uh, going to show you guys how I prep up some garlic cloves. There's a couple different ways that I do this, but I wanted to show you this one particular way that I do it. So to open up the bag, go ahead and grab a pair of scissors if you don't have a pair of scissors. It's so not just to cut open the bag, like so. Peel back the cloves like this. I'm sure you guys can see this at a good angle. Probably can't see my face. So. Uh, you break apart. You break apart the bulb. I don't know if I'm gonna break all of this apart, but I want to eat at least maybe three or four of these. Three to well, three to four cloves a night is pretty good. You don't really wake up having that garlicky breath the next day. Uh, depends if you eat a whole bulb like I have uh, done in the past. I used to do this to fight off colds and flu, and it lowered my my symptoms by like 50 to 60% and I kicked my colds within about a week or two just eating garlic alone so if I would have done juicing on top of that I probably would have been a lot better uh, but I didn't have as good of a juicer as I do right now like uh, the one that I have now that you guys have seen videos done on so yeah so one way to do this is if you peel the garlic just right the bulb uh, when you're peeling the bulb and you peel off the clove uh, the rest of it just kind of pops off just like that. You won't even have anything at the bottom. And then you can just peel the rest of that back like so. Another good way to do this, to peel off the uh, outer paper layer, is to take your knife, like so, unsheathed. If you didn't hear that, I'll do it again for you. Just press down, like so. That was a good crack. So then you're able to peel it off even more. And it just breaks that paper apart and you can just peel it back. And pop it off like so. Cut off the ends if you need to. Real simple. You can even take a smaller knife and do that too. Just press on it. Oh, there goes one piece. And just push it like that. So big knife, little knife for the finer cutting. Uh, another way to do it too is you can do this at the same time or just have it like I did with the first one where it's just whole and you can just chop off the end like that. Cut it down. That way you got that end cut off after you get done peeling the paper off. That way you don't have to eat the uh, pretty much like the root end because this is like the base of the base of the garlic bulb where it grows up from the ground and that, that part's pretty hard there too. And that's where all the cloves stem up from growing into this herb. So. Just a generalization, I don't know if that's exactly right or not. But, so, you can do that. Then you got your three to four cloves. And you just go ahead and chop them up. I'm gonna use a small knife for this one. I usually chop off the ends, I don't eat the ends. Just because they're a little hard to chew on. This gets very sticky too, but you just slice and dice. This is one way to do it. Just with a little knife, that way you can get a little bit more tedious with it. Make sure you guys the big one here. There we go. Get my 
gloves in a row. I'm going to get them mixed in the paper. So, real quick, fine slices. Uh, most of the time I'll chew them up and eat them like this. Just diced up cloves. Uh, and then other times I'll just chop them up. And I think I'm just going to do that tonight. I'm just going to chop up the rest of these. Just wanted to show you guys how big of my pieces I actually eat. How big are the pieces of cloves that I actually eat. But I dice them up like this, basically. And voila. Bon appetit. So. Put it on the end of your knife here. Oh, we're eating it now. Grab a spoon. So, get the knife right here. To your health. Mm. Go back with some water. I did this, I, I, I've been doing this for the last eight to ten years where I'll just eat it straight like this. At night particularly, by myself, <laughs> and with some food. Down with a little bit of water. With each clove that you chew it gets hotter and hotter and hotter, but it's got really good antibacterial properties and it works basically as nature's antibiotic. It will kill anything and everything <clears throat> in your body that is a virus or some sort of, some sort or form of disease. <clears throat> it's even including cancer itself, cancerous cells, things of that nature. <sighs> <clears throat> Thanks for watching guys. Didn't want to make this video too long, so there you go. This is one way that I prepped garlic make some more videos like this in the future so if you have not yet like comment and subscribe for more content i'll see you guys in the next video thanks